What's up, everybody? It's another Who the Heck Are We episode. Claro Manzano here, and joining us is our distinguished guest, none other than Christian Sea Dog Schaffner. I had to put the Sea Dog part. We're going to tell the story why. First, we want to say thanks out to Coach Ernie, Miaras, and family for having us here at their lovely home. That's where we are shooting this episode. More in person, Quinto One, Who the Heck Are We? Sea Dog, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I've been excited to do this for a while now. Me too, myself, of course. We're with the vlogger men, as I say sometimes when we story. But how have you been as of late? We are shooting this on a Tuesday, right? Right after, or the two days after, three days after you played Cebu FC, you get, dealt them their first loss at home. That's a big deal. Yeah, feeling pretty good about that. It was nice to at least. You know, we didn't accomplish the goals that we wanted to this season, but it's nice to at least finish on that note, finishing on a big win in Cebu, handing them their first loss at home. And so at least we can feel good about that and going into the offseason on a little bit more of a high. It's okay. So offseason on a high because unfortunately, right, you guys didn't get the chip. Or let's say, what's the second goal after finish second behind Kaya, right? But no yeah. one wants to say they're the number one loser of sorts, but... In this perspective, we could say because of that ACL2 spot, right? Mm -hmm, definitely. But unfortunately, guys didn't get it, right? Yeah. Uh, me also, because I'm like the AFC official <laughs> in Stallion home games, right? Yeah, Thank you yeah. also to Stallion for like uh, the trust in getting me to do that role. Mm -hmm. But how was Cebu? Did you try the Lechon or you name it? I did. I did get to try some of the Lechon very little bit on the first day. Uh, one of our teammates brought it back for us, which was nice. And the trip was great. It's always nice to go on those trips, and you kind of get close with a lot of the people that you don't always get to see off the field um, and mm -hmm. get closer to some of the people that you don't always get to see in a non-football setting. So it was nice, um, really nice to just spend time with all the guys. And, yeah, in the end, we capped it off with a win, so I think that was really the highlight of the whole trip. Mm -hmm. And we made our way back here, and now, now we're back. That's yeah. reality. So you ended the season at least with a bang, right? That's what's important. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You got a lot to unpack though, man. But by the way, this is freewheeling Quinto One. If you want to ask me stuff, just go ahead also. For sure, yeah. for sure. All right. I got to adjust the elephant in the room. Conte lang sa Cebu game. This is big. There's a new goalkeeper in Stallion, right? Could you tell us? You finished the game, right? Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Could you tell us about the new Stallion goalkeeper? What Matt the had to Stallion, play. The new Stallion, he should be here somewhere. Right? The new Stallion goalkeeper? Yeah. Big fan, big fan. He's currently the, what, the only goalkeeper with 100% uh, clean sheets on his <laughs> record. So really happy for him. Uh, I didn't really know what was going on actually in the game when it yeah, happened. I was to find out actually. I was all the way on the other side. I was so tired. I didn't really want to go over there to, you know, see what was going on. So I was just kind of just doing my own thing on my side. And I see there's something going on with the goalkeeper. And then all of a sudden I look up and I see Matt putting on the purple jersey. And I'm mm -hmm. like, wow, is he really going to be the one going in? Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm yeah. taking it a little lightly because I heard that Freddie's okay already. Yeah, yeah. we got yeah. confirmation. Freddie's doing better, yeah. thankfully. That's yeah. great to hear, of course. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> sorry, we were laughing. But not because, <laughs> but because it's Matt. Of course. He of course, seemed so course. serious very, when very. he was bringing the home. But it's funny because it's not his position, but he knew what he was doing. Yeah, That's yeah. why. Yeah, no, definitely. He took it and he, he went with it, you know. And I think with seeing him go on goal, we also knew that we had to try a little bit harder to make sure they didn't really right. get any more shots on goal. Yeah, I think they didn't get not any Not that shots. we didn't trust Matt. Just but understandable yeah. because that's not his usual, right? Yeah. Matt doesn't practice goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. um, I felt he was a little uncomfortable in goal, so I wanted to make sure, you know. Understandable. Protect him. EBH. Yeah. He did catch a long ball, right? But I think you guys locked down oh, the Cebu. He handled it so D. well. There you go. Anyway, could you tell your side of the story with you saying your nickname is Sea Dog to me? Right? There was there was My drama. Side of the story, yeah. I want to hear side your of the story side actually. Is that no matter how many times I said it, I they couldn't pronounce my name right. So I went to Clara. I said, "Oh, this is how you pronounce my name." The next game, he goes on. He says, "Okay," and we got confirmation from Christian that this is how you pronounce his name. But then he pronounced it wrong again. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? That's my bad. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I don't really care. I, actually, I don't care what. You uh, know. I don't want to make an excuse, but when someone did feed us wrong information. Uh, blame too. it on Levi, huh? No, no, so, not him. Uh, not him, actually. 
But my apologies Sorry. there. I think I got mixed up. Mm. It took your dad, Tito yeah, Ron. Shout true. out to Tito. Yeah, Say the my name. dad was watching. The one game my dad got to see. Uh, he saw you and, yeah, I heard you guys talk. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but... But anyways, I said, you know what? If it's easier, just call me by my nickname. A lot of people just call me Sea Dog, <laughs> Sea Dog or Shaft Dog, whichever. So go. that's kind of what, uh, yeah, what the nickname I was given since then. Yeah, went bad for mixing that up. Yeah, <laughs> no, but it's good. I really, uh, you know, I don't really care. But when you said Sea Dog, there was a game. I said his nickname is Sea Dog, but we gotta double check that. <laughs> like, there was a bit yeah, of a hesitation yeah, yeah. on my end. Uh huh. And then, yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, That's pretty much your side of the story, right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And then one of my, funny enough, as a coincidence, one of my college teammates started commentating with Claro. And so then there was, that was the confirmation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if I can bounce up there. So we were seated, right? It's me and Kendrick Soriano. Mm -hmm. Call him K-Dog now, by the way, because <laughs> of you. K-Dog. So you come in and he goes, hey, C-Dog. In my mind, I'm like, oh, toot. I really <laughs> cursed out loud. This uh, guy's really C dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's what made me laugh. And then you're like, see, you didn't want to believe me, Clara. It's something along oh, those lines. No one ever right? wants to believe me, but you know. <laughs> hey, pero buma wina. Like yeah. we made up for it because there was this game I heard Kendricks and Ivan when they give it to you, they don't say Shafter. Pass the ball. C dog. <laughs> they were saying it. I started doing it too. So yeah. whenever you get the first <laughs> touch or when a player gets their first touch, I'll try to say if possible, I'll say the first and last name. Mm -hmm. I go Christian, Sea Dog, Schaffner. Uh, yeah. And then sometimes it's a little relaxed. I just go Sea Dog. <laughs> and we were laughing about that a bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Not yeah. every day someone st shares his street name <laughs> with the people. That's why uh -huh. we appreciate that. Uh, well, I appreciate you uh, calling me by my preferred name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's the most gangster, it's the most play name in the league right now. Some people, they get their nicknames. Yours was declared already. Anyway, um, how's the vlog going? When you came and entered Maharlika, your vlog started appearing already in my YouTube, like wow. the featured. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, it's a vlogger, man. New player in Maharlika. This was midway in the 22 23 season. Right. Mm -hmm. Were you vlogging already before you came to the PFL? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, growing up, I used to always make videos with my friends. Um, something we would always do, just make videos about whatever. And then I, we stopped for a long I stopped. My friends mm -hmm. kept doing it. I started focusing on playing, but I always really enjoyed it. And then throughout college, every once in a while, I'd make videos and did a little, like, a few documentaries, stuff like that, different things, and just doing some freelance videos. And then I always knew once I left for the Philippines, I wanted to make my own videos and document mm -hmm. my own experience just because coming from the States, something really unique. You know, not many people say they went to the Philippines to get to play. So, that's true. so I started, that's how I started. And it was really just for myself to document, you know, my own thing. And then once I kind of got here and the first couple of videos actually surprisingly did pretty well, yeah. which I was not expecting at all. Um, and so once I found out how, you know, people were actually watching and people were telling me they saw my videos I thought oh you know maybe it's a cool way to you know help grow popularity of the sport a little bit yeah. here and you know I think I've kind of caught the attention of a lot of Filipino football fans and you know help get people in the stands people watching the games and you know just help the sport grow a little bit more here yeah so. especially with football right a developing mm -hmm. sport I remember I don't remember who commented actually in one of the blogs it made me laugh because I, I follow it a lot too right yeah. as you know someone put Babe, wake up. Christian uploaded again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, has, that, that has to be like, you know, like a, one of the top comments. Yeah. One of the yeah, top yeah. comments. <laughs> but if you, the restaurants have those quotes. Yeah. That one goes to your, that one goes to your <laughs> blog, man. Yeah. yeah. I get some funny ones. Yeah. I get some funny ones. And then when you interviewed me for one of your blogs, I was pretty starstruck. Oh, Not really? Not going to lie, man. Not going to oh. lie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so that's kind of where my content started shifting. Like, mm -hmm. the beginning of the season, it was more my journey. Now it's like a little bit more about the journey of the sport here. You know, mm -hmm. it's less about me and more getting other people involved in oh, yeah. all the videos. You see all of these people like mm -hmm. around, right? We get yeah. to learn about them also. I exactly. get to learn about them yeah. also. Yeah. And I think that's more interesting too. Yeah, definitely. Given that community in Philippine mm -hmm. football. Yeah. Pretty small, right? But yeah. one way or another, everyone knows each other. Exactly. Everyone's friends with exactly. each other, right? 
Anyway, what's a season? Uh, what's a day in the like? Uh, what's what's it like in the day of Christian Sidog Schaffner? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The day in the life. Um, let's say during the season. During the yeah. season, my days really aren't that interesting. I would say I train in the mornings. Uh-huh. We train every morning, six thirty a.m. Um, from there, usually I go home. Maybe I'll take a nap if I'm feeling super tired. And after my nap, I'll do some work. You know, on my computer, I got either my freelance work or making working on my own videos Mm -hmm. and then after that is when i coach in the afternoon so i'm involved in a few different programs and private trainings as well and helping different people out so it's about it then i go home have my dinner and call it a day you go again right early morning next day yeah yeah and then yeah usually during the week that's how that's how my weeks are early morning start because i know like stalin you guys train early in the morning yeah yeah in binyan that's the home of stalin laguna Mm-hmm. But you're still doing freelance work, like a little bit here and there. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, whatever I can find. Um, been yeah, really, honestly, whatever work comes my way, uh, mm-hmm. I'm always open to it. That, are you more in like the video editing field, or do you do like graphic design? Just video curious, editing, yeah. um, little bit of ah, graphic design, not really. I don't think I'm good enough at it. Mm-hmm. But mostly video, yeah. Mostly yeah. video. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Like you get clients in the states or. How was that? Yeah, Since I had a Manila few in based. the States. I had a few in Canada. Um, mostly from connections I had before. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, and then even here, I'm doing actually a lot of highlight videos for players. You know, a lot of teammates and yeah, okay. people in the league. Yeah, helping them with, with that sort of stuff. Just like the, the freeze frame and then they show the guy and they put the name. Yeah, You yeah, do yeah. that stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right. Guys, <laughs> you know what to go to if you need your videos. Not just yeah. highlight videos, but roughly... Any, anything, yeah, content anything, under the sun, yeah. right? I try and, to say yes to as much as I can. Yeah, of course. Money's money, right? I mean, yeah, gotta, also just the experience of doing it and you know putting my name out there. That's you know? true. And then let's face it, you're a South boy, Metro Manila. We're just saying. I am now, yeah, kind of. You I count. guess. But I wasn't always living here. I used to live in Pasig, so I was oh, up north for yeah. It. Yeah, living with my grandparents, and then since I started playing here, moved to the south. Mm-hmm. Well, you play for a team in the south. Yeah, that yeah. counts. Yeah. Molito Town Center, right? That's the go-to. <laughs> That's where we bumped into each other, right? Yeah. I was eating yeah, yeah, with yeah, one, yeah. Of my, one of my high school classmates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you're coaching. You were coaching that time. Or you came from coaching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. Usually after coaching, I'll, mm-hmm. you know, go get dinner somewhere. And yeah. yeah. Are you so still coaching? Is that Loyola? Or are you in Southridge? Uh, I've been in a, a few lot. places. Yeah. yeah. Originally, when I f- started coaching here, I started in Maharlika Academy. Right. Yeah. yeah, back then with uh, Coach Basa. And then from there, I started helping Coach Roxy in Loyola, Southridge. And then I was coaching in another school up north, uh, STC, mm-hmm. um, which was <clears throat> cool. It's all-girls school, and they never had a football program yeah. before. So I would help them out. And it's cool. We started the program a year ago, and it's been growing ever since. I remember when I heard, like, I freaked out a bit, right? Because I'm like, oh, wait, STC. It's my mom's school. Wait. In Manila, but that school is yeah. defunct. That Adamson uh-huh. like pretty much took in. Yeah, yeah. Their lot, air, their lot, right? Mm-hmm. And then you were saying that your mom went to yeah, STC. Yeah, and that's where my mom went to school, STC Manila. Also, Manila. Yeah. Yeah. I tried connecting things. I was talking to my mom like, the other day, and she's like, she can't really trace. I, yeah, yeah, Who's yeah. her mom? Or, I'm mm-hmm. sure if they talk to each other, they'll get to like... Possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. what do you call that? Maybe they're not the same batch. Probably. There you go. Because yeah, every yeah. year... It's like that for your mom. Every year they have their homecomings. Yeah, I don't think. My and then mom goes. every five years, so there's my a mom homecoming didn't every year. They never fi- she never oh, finished. They, oh, they she did. Closed didn't. before she ever finished oh, high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, my tita, my tita had to move also. Mm. My tita's my mom's younger sister. Yeah, my tita also had to move. So, also, yeah. yeah. But what happens is every year they have their homecoming, and then every five years they dance. Oh, so yeah. like, there's that year where we we bring our mom there. It's like that's her equivalent of like oh. playing a playing a copa final. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> sounds like fun. Yeah, sounds like a fun event. Anyway, well, yeah, I was just trying to connect. Everyone knows each other. Yeah, one way yeah. or another here in mm-hmm. Philippines. And then you went to the same high school. I confirmed this with you as Tom Brady. I did. And Barry Bonds. So you got some you got some goat in yeah. your DNA. Yeah, yeah. Goat our, DNA. My high school was. Uh, yeah. It was really big for sports in the states. Uh, it was a small school um, in San Mateo, but for sports, we just we were always good. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cool, kind of being in that environment in high school and seeing that 
just beyond soccer, right? Or there's all, was there also all American sports, football? Sports, Everything. Yeah, all the sports were pretty strong. I wish I went to school there. Yeah. <laughs> Get some uh, Tom Brady DNA in me. Man. Yeah. But you end up, what's your high school again? Sorry, San Mateo? Uh, it's called Junipero Serra High School in okay. San Mateo. It's an all boys school, actually. Yeah, so I went to all boys high school for four years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that like, uh, what do you call that? the school in your neighborhood or you really wanted to go there because they have like a sports reputation? Yeah, I mean like every boy wants to go there for sports, okay. you know. Um, and it, it's, yeah, right in my neighborhood, super close to where I live. So that's why, yeah. 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 Normally people study like what's near their house. Maybe, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, similar here mm -hmm. growing up for me. Yeah. But why, why football, well, soccer? We're Filipinos. Everyone can play basketball. One way yeah. or another, right? Whether yeah. competitive or not. But my football. Um, I just was lucky to be in a group of friends that were all into playing football as a kid. And it was really from then on where I started loving it, playing all the time. Um, I feel like that was just kind of the group I always fit in with most. Mm -hmm. I never really, you know, the other sports, I never really, I was always smaller too, so I didn't really fit in with the other sports. Mm -hmm. And all my best friends in, you know, elementary school, they were all football players. So we would always play at lunch, after school, playing all the time. When we'd, you know, go home from school, we'd go to the park and we'd all play together. So, yeah, from there, football was always the kind of – I played all the other sports. Um, just to try all the other – I yeah. loved – I just loved sports as a kid. You know, I liked playing. Um, my mom was really into basketball. She wanted, you know – For sure. She loved coming to my basketball games. Um, <laughs> she was always there. But, yeah, I mean, football was just the one that always stuck with me. And, uh -huh. yeah, I just think it's the best sport. What did you play in basketball? What did I play? Oh, point guard. Oh, yeah, of okay. Course. I was a sick point guard. Were you already rocking the man bun? That's that's, no, that's no, pretty no, swaggy no. though. You play no, basketball with a bun? A, no, when I was in that age, I had a I had a mohawk. <laughs> yeah, I had a mohawk and then I had a rat tail. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, badass, that was my prime. That was my prime. Guys, let's do something. Let's get Christian to bring back that hairstyle next uh, BFL season. <laughs> Come on, let's put something in the comments. We'll see. How, Maybe, many, how, how many likes? How many likes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I'll put a separate post. 10,000. 10,000. 10, likes. Okay, that's a hella <laughs> long shot. That's, well, we might as well try. It's a try. long shot. It's a long shot for me to... Okay, okay. Uh, if it's a long shot, I don't mind, man. No pressure. 5,000. 5,000. 5, yeah. <laughs> there you go. 5,000 likes. 5,000 likes. Chris yeah. is going to bring back the Mohawk, baby. Yeah, and the, we'll the, what do you call the tail? Rat tail. Oh, and like man, a rat okay. tail coming around here. It's yeah. like the Final Star Wars Jedi, right? <laughs> yeah, I like guess so. Like a Padawan yeah, yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit, a little okay. bit like that. And if you score your first goal of the season, you get to remove that <laughs> full-fledged Jedi Knight. Uh-huh. <laughs> there you go. I'll put up a separate post. Don't worry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> man. So what's nice, I mean, your group seemed like walang B.I. No bad influence. Mm -hmm. It's good influence. Hey, let's play. Let's play soccer. Yeah, that's yeah. how pretty got you to do it. Mm -hmm. And then let's go with your college or university career. You studied in New York for a while, right? Then transferred. Yeah, back I, home. I uh, I played in studied in New York for a year. COVID happened. Um, transferred to school back home just to be mm -hmm. closer to home. So then okay. I was just living at home um, during those last two years. And then during COVID, I didn't really like go to school I was kind of just bouncing around and I was taking online classes and mm -hmm. um, actually my last two years of still online classes but I chose to do online at that point mm -hmm. I thought uh take my last few years online I would play my season I'd go travel take my classes and then my last semester of my last semester of college I took it online again so that I could be here mm -hmm. so I took my last semester while I was here in Maharlika Proof I followed the vlog. I was like, oh, he's still studying, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My graduation was actually the same day as the Stallion Maharlika game. Oh, Stallion Maharlika. But so, you were still with Maharlika yeah, yeah, at that yeah, time, yeah. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I commentated. I can't remember. Yeah. No, it was the one anyway. in McKinley Hill. Oh, I yeah. did that. I did oh, you that did? Game. Okay. This yeah. is the late Toto goal, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. did Aguero. Yeah, oh, it man. never happened, though. I, I never saw the video of it. So. Hey, hey, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Oh, so in my eyes, oh. that game was a tie. That's another discussion, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I mean, if you didn't post a picture, it didn't happen. That's what people say sometimes, exactly. right? Exactly. Exactly. So. That's rule number one in our office, actually. <laughs> yeah. Sir, I did it. 
Pakita yung picture. <laughs> there. Now I don't have to ask. Exactly. <laughs> Bring out the vlogger in me, man. Podcaster <laughs> in me. Yeah. I'm not getting bored, by the way. That's why I'm looking at my watch. I'm just monitoring the, the video also since we're a wow. very limited team. Yeah. That's just for boring. The benefit. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I said, I'm, I said, I'm not, man. <laughs> Trying to gaslight oh, I'm me. Joking, eh? I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, we're a lean team. Um, just a few episodes that we're doing uh, that we've been able to do. So just learning the setup. Anyway, so you moved home. <clears throat> were, were you taking the same course in New a York? A little bit different. Um, when I was studying in New York, I was a much better student. <laughs> so I was actually, so it's funny. I was studying sports media. That was my um, in New York. Yeah, that was my okay. major sports media. But then I was also studying a few other, um, like <clears throat> integrated marketing, communications, different random stuff uh, in as minors. Yeah. But then when I went to my new school, it was just communications. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. But I remember when you went back to study in like San Francisco area, mm -hmm. you took a course right where you learned sports commentating. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. where. And this is the same school, right, where you and Kendrick Soriano yeah. like, so became homies? Yeah, so me and Kenny went to school there, and that's where we were teammates. We both took that class. I took uh -huh. it one year, and then I remember the next year he was telling me, oh, yeah, I'm taking this class. It's oh, so cool. Man. But in my original school, that's what I was really studying was sports media. Yeah. So I was kind of around that for a while in, mm -hmm. in school. And, yeah, I never really took much interested, interest in the commentating side. I liked more the video editing and, you know, the, the not live media stuff. But yeah. After doing it and then seeing it, I'm like, oh, like it'd be cool to give it a try. It's you know something new. Get yeah. out of my comfort zone a little bit. I know, like you kind of kept the door open, right? Yeah, yeah, commentary yeah. For, yeah, for definitely. Ball. Just I think it would be cool just just because it's something I'm not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Speaking on camera, I'm okay with like this. I'm fine with the editing. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with. But if I'm after, having to speak live on camera, that's something yeah. that I wouldn't. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. But I kind of want to just try it. Get out of my comfort zone. Yeah, why not? Of course, mm -hmm. there's the chance. Let's yeah. Go for it. I'd love Matt, to be your I was anchor. Inspired, I was inspired by Matt, my teammate. You know? hey. Seeing him do it at, uh, yeah. at UAP, I was like, wow, if he can do it, you know, maybe I should try it too. Yeah, yeah the Sea Dog game. <laughs> by the way, right, we're in the nearest house again. Thank you to them. Mm. Matt just arrived. <laughs> yeah. 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 Then there's that. No, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, right, for the viewers. So Kendrick Soriano, your teammate mm -hmm. yeah, in college, and he was also a commentator in PFL yeah. for like, – the first half of the season or so mm -hmm. so that's just like a counting background guys yeah so proof again that everyone just knows everyone it's a yeah. small it's we were small talking world. about nicknames you know what his nickname was in college he was just saying it was kenny oh boy i hope he didn't hide it man our coach would call him kenny the entertainer <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's not us gangster sea dog but it fits him okay, right yeah i think so too i think it's fitting <laughs> Surprised he didn't tell you that. That's yeah, what. Uh, yeah, that's what our coach, Kenny the Entertainer. Yeah, because he said just Kenny. I'm like, no man, <laughs> I'm calling you K Dog now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you go along if you have any questions or something you want to share. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but what's next for you? Um, there's it's the off season now, right? Mm -hmm. I think the standings in the PFL need to be finalized, but. What's next for you? I believe it's the PFL that's going to be next. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we saw your games. We saw, of course, we saw the good, the bad for you. What you need to work on in your game. Yeah. So I need to work on. Um, I have to work on listening to my coach. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. Nah. Um, nah, for me, I think uh, the biggest thing, I think, was a little bit newer of a position for me this season and it took a little bit of time to adjust and adjusting to new players um i think of course like like everyone like my decision making um mm -hmm. can always be better and i think that's probably where i need to improve most um and yeah i think each season is also just getting a little bit more comfortable playing in the pfl mm -hmm. uh i've only been here been here only a year so yeah, it's, that's uh, right. yeah um this was my second pfl season now and yeah, just getting used to playing here and playing the style of play and mm -hmm. all that, I think, uh, has gotten better each year. And But it's still, you know, I'm far from where I want to be. Yeah, because you started out Maharlika right back and then eventually center mid in Stallion. You're playing center mid too yeah. last season. Yeah. But this one, that's why you said new position, wing back, right? Yeah. Where we see yeah. 
before a game, it's a 3-4-3 three, three formation or what mm -hmm. people want to call it, but it's a back three. Yeah. You're a wing back, right? I've played in the PFL. I've played every position now except for striker and goalkeeper. Okay. <laughs> in between here and Maharlika. Goalkeeper's pretty close. Yeah. But we don't want it to happen, right? No, Just, no. Hopefully yeah. not. Hopefully never. Because normally it's I'm ready, a bizarre but hopefully never. situation. <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't want yeah. because of a bizarre situation, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes my discrasha mm -hmm. that just happens yeah. given it's a contact sport. Mm -hmm. Um. By the way, I wasn't so sure. Maybe we'll check. I want to check with like people who know the rules. I know you can do a what do you call that? Um, that sub in case of a concussion. Mm. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not so sure what the rules are about that exactly. But I guess we'll I find know out. they're only testing it. It's not a you know a uniform thing around all no, yeah. you know uh, leagues. But I, yeah, I'm not really sure. Yeah, because I know there's that uh, they got to do the concussion sub for said Ugovic. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, in the yeah. last FIFA World Cup qualifiers yeah. game. I forgot to ask this, by the way. How's the AFC Cup? You're traveling around Southeast Asia. AFC Cup yeah. was really, you know, one of the best experiences mm -hmm. playing. Um, it's something I never really expected. You know, it was kind of wild that it just got, you know, like, I just came from Harlech and all of a sudden, you know, I was in playing in AFC Cup. Mm -hmm. um, but being there and seeing it, it's like, that's really my biggest motivation now to get back to that. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I saw the the level and everything and it was such a cool experience playing against his teams and it's like after doing that it's like i just want to keep you want know, to do it again right it, you know yeah. so yeah it was really inspiring to do it honestly and seeing all that yeah because you faced the group young stallion in hmm. central coast miners yeah the eventual yeah. champs right exactly yeah and such so a... it's like so cool and it's something i honestly i never i never expected i would play in it you know i never and uh, yeah so yeah so you went to australia you went to malaysia mm -hmm. bali. Country, bali yeah 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 how are the three destinations i mean australia it's not <clears> asean <throat> it's not southeast asia mm -hmm. but um in football they're part of aff yeah, right yeah. how was that in australia was everywhere yeah. it was so cool um i've never been to any of those countries nice. australia was really cool it felt a lot like california actually Really? No, very similar to California. It was cool because, I mean, that by far they were the best team easily. Yeah. Um, and so that was cool getting to play against them. Malaysia was really cool. It was different for me. I've never been to Malaysia. Um, I enjoyed it there as well. I think that was the team we competed with the most was Tarangano. Yep. Um, I like the food in Malaysia too. Uh -huh. the Malaysian food was good. And then Bali was a tough trip for me because I actually was – I got super sick. Um the day, the night of, like, of the game, I got kind of sick. Um, and then I thought it was okay. Um, throughout the day, it was slowly getting better. And then, yeah, playing, I was just having a hard time. Oh. Um, I heard some guys got like a bum stomach or yeah, something. Yeah, right? quite a few. Yeah. Quite a few actually got, got sick there. So that one was kind of tough. Um, yeah. But I mean, all in all, the experience itself was like, mm -hmm. you know, something that I'm not going to forget. And, you know, again, I never, I never expected to be playing in a tournament like that, and so for me, it was like, wow, you know, like, can't, you know, yeah, hard to, it's hard to comprehend. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. To know about more about those trips, check out Christian's blog. Yeah. <laughs> That's where yeah. we're we're plugging it in right mm -hmm. there, because I remember, I remember, I don't remember where Jing said it, but mm -hmm. being an experienced guy, right, he worked with Kaya for a long time. When people find out. They're in the same group as Bali. They're like, people go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You guys got some time cool. to hit the beach, sorts? Uh, not really. Not Business too trip much. Talaga. It was the last day was really the day for that. The thing is, though, the last day, I was, that's when I was the most sick. It was after okay. the game. So, yeah, the last day sucked. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get to do much. Um, that was really the day for people to go to the beach if they wanted to. But Because it was the day after the game. But no, I was too sick, so I was just in bed. Just resting. Yeah, I could barely Man. eat or anything. Yeah, it's tough. Obviously, <laughs> you got to recover because you were playing the succeeding games, Copa at that yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. And eventually, mm. AFC Cup. And then, yeah. Anyway, I asked you already pretty much what's next earlier. We just mm. added some of the Quinto one. Five years from now, where does Five Christian C. Doug Schaffner oh, man. see himself? That's a tough question. Five years, I honestly, I don't know. I kind of just take things uh, season by season. I'm mm -hmm. not really, 
five years from now, hopefully, you know, still playing. And, you know, I know one day, you know, I'm just – end goal for me is just to be that, you know, one guy at the Sunday League that, you know, can tell all my stories about my playing career in the past and, you know, drinking a beer at halftime. So, but <laughs> hopefully maybe a little bit more than five years from now. Uh -huh. um, but five years, gosh. What do you think? I'm going to say the Sunday League guy – Envision that's that's Sea Dog with a Mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, that I'm definitely. I don't know if I feel like I'll be bald at that point, but have a you know a little <laughs> gotta, bit of a beer. You gotta belly. believe, man. Your hair's long, so maybe I'm it won't to, be a problem. I'm ready to let myself go after playing. You know, like get a grow a little bit of a belly and you know just enjoy <laughs> myself after playing. <laughs> All right, so pretty much it's a bit up in the air, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, five yeah. years from now. Definitely still playing, still competing. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. By the way, uh counting Pambawe, right? Mm -hmm. She started calling me Sea Dog on air. Uh -huh. So sometimes people go Sea Dog deal already. I know yeah. it's even online yeah, when yeah, they yeah. write your name. Um sorry guys, Pambawe. Because <laughs> I'm putting this now. Um Charles Pickering was watching a stream. <laughs> it was a Loyola game because I believe yeah. his friends with William yeah, yeah. the Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. And then he was saying hi and stuff. And then people were getting, who's Sun CC dog? Sun CC dog. There were comments. <laughs> it was C dog. I'm like, okay, I made up for it there. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, took your dad to fly halfway around the world, say your correct name. He goes, I said, Tito, sorry, there's a bit of a confusion. He just goes straight to the point. Well, I'm the dad. <laughs> Shout out again, Tito Ron. Yeah, really uh -huh. appreciate the support also. Yeah, when we spoke. Uh huh. So yeah, yeah. there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh. People, people have been uh, saying that in the I, – whenever I watch a game, I try to comment something about it. Um, and, yeah, that's usually the response. People will – People go, who is this dog? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. People mm -hmm. as of late also, they, they count the onion rings and the number of times we mentioned the Matchball sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually Pretty funny. It's actually, like, predetermined. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. Who's but, the Matchball sponsor again? I don't remember. Star Polaris. Uh, Star Polaris. People I, I haven't heard it enough. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> no, so that is uh, we got every thirtieth and sixtieth minute, guys. You mana nagumatawa don sa amin. We do it every thirtieth and sixtieth. If we forget, we hope you can remind us. But we got a, we got a guy, a floor director, actually. Oh, to seriously? Tell us. Yeah. So he reminds you each time you. Yeah, yeah, and then sometimes during the game, um, we have things we need to relay. We obviously can't talk because we're mic'd, mm. we're mic'd up. So we're gonna write a message. Sometimes, like, I got close to Ryan Miller, floor director. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can signal he knows what, what, I, what I'm trying to tell him. Yeah. Is yeah. it hard to talk and write at the same time? Yeah. Maybe two commentators, right? So uh -huh. when the analyst is talking, I'm scribbling something, I go make yeah. a note. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. You may have ever messed up on, on air? Uh, writing something? Or just, like, saying something? Something saying... came out totally wrong or? Thankfully, no. No. Thankfully, no. no. Bad Maybe sometimes or... like the wrong wrong grammar, or you get bulu. Uh -huh. Like I got bulu when we were talking <laughs> earlier in the epi uh -huh. episode. You're the day in the life part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A while ago. yeah. That's the worst I've gotten recently. Uh -huh. in, on air, maybe with spoken word grammar is not perfect, mm. right? So I'd make those errors that aren't normally the errors I would make. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so stuff days sometimes, but it's part of the job also. Like be really passionate. You still get nervous. Angola. Wow. What was the last game you were nervous for? Ooh, man. It's big, man. It's <laughs> big, man. When was the last time I was nervous? Mm -hmm. Actually, if you ask me that early in the year, mm. I'll say I'm nervous before the game, especially UAAP. Oh, because really? there's more on camera. Yeah. The production is like more intense, right? Definitely. It's, on, it's signal TV. That one, you can say I was nervous. Yeah. yeah. But if I could say the biggest time was the Filipinas game versus Costa Rica. Mm. The second game. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. we lost that game. Yeah. I was hella nervous. <laughs> I was doing the heavy breathing exercises <laughs> really? to slow down. Man. Calm yourself down. Yeah. Because nice, nice. maybe I put pressure myself that time because I wanted to make Bowie. Mm. I didn't do the New Zealand game so well. Yeah. I wasn't able to configure the mic. Mm. I was a little inexperienced on my end also with the mixer. Yeah. So after that, tuloy tuloy na. Had a good game. Okay, what yeah. about this? I'll put you on the spot. Go, man. What Told you, you we can do, do you, this. Yeah. What do you prefer? Well, I don't know if you're going to... I might regret asking you now. 
regret, uh, you might regret telling me to ask you questions. What do you prefer commentating, PFL or UF? Wow. <laughs> hey, I actually thought about this, ah, uh -huh. in my head. Yeah. Which one do I enjoy more? Because sabay yung PFL and UAP, mm -hmm. and the uh, there's a certain point, right? Yeah. PFL, I love it because that's where I started. Mm. That's my roots. I got uh, like mm. recognized by UAAP like talent mm -hmm. because I was doing PFL, mm. putting in games every weekend, nice, nice. one to two games as of late, even four. Yeah, it's, it's a tough. lot. Yeah, and we're all friends PFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like even well, with I the cameras. You, so you're not all friends with you. Huh? Well, I'll get with that after. I'll get with that after. <laughs> so PFL, like the cameraman and stuff, uh -huh. we're all vibes. Mm. We're all vibes. Like we have that main cameraman, Kuya Miles. Yeah. Huge Hamed fan. Beast. Like you see, um, Kuya Miles is just talking. He told us it's time to eat. He just rounds everyone up. Mm. Wants us to eat together. Make sure everyone gets to eat together. Oh, yeah, cool. he's such a that's such a nice. he's such a locker room presence. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and since he watches, of course, we'll make our jokes here and there. Like we'll call you guys by your nicknames. Yeah. 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 Things like that. It's like imagine how <laughs> we watch NBA, right? And mm. we talk about the players. The mga, parang pop culture puns and stuff. Mm. That's what we do. But you, so that's aside for PFL. UAAP, I can say, I'm kind of new. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of new. Just like Matt, we started Sabay, <laughs> two seasons under the belt. I like working with it, working mm -hmm. there. You can say it's a bit more structured because uh -huh. it's with Signal. But PFL's matching UAP now, I can say. Yeah. I like nice. being there because there's the school spirit. Mm. And there's that thing. When UAP, I guess it's signal the broadcast. Yeah, I don't know. You don't see requirements. Mm -hmm. You don't see requirements, but it's a bit more difficult when you have an off day there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can say that UAP is harder because I'm the new guy. <laughs> I'm not uh, throwing shade at the people, but yeah. the commentators I thought, there. I thought he's the new guy. Me and Matt okay, are the new okay, guys okay. actually. We're the newest commentators. Uh -huh. <clears throat> not putting shade, but all right, all right. How about this? Wait, how about, hold up. Okay. UAP. It's harder because I get starstruck with the people I work with. Uh, That's why. Okay. That's why okay. it's harder. Mm -hmm. I put pressure on myself. Man. Fair enough. Bob Guerrero's there. There was Natasha also. Mm. Jing Hamna. Armand Del Rosario. Yeah. 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 His eyes crazy. Fair anyway, enough. yeah. Fair he went. All right. That's what I can you. say, man. What's. <clears throat> I let you steer the ship. I told you. He got. Yeah, this is, this is my podcast. Yeah, now. Is... All right. <laughs> yeah, video's still rolling. We're what's good, your, man. What's your least favorite? Team to compensate. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What team what team do you do you get the list and you look at it and you're like, oh man, not this team again. Oh you, you see it in <laughs> you, you see it in the standings. That's what I can say. Are you making up for this because of the vlog, right? You had a hard time asking me questions. <laughs> you see it in the standings, man. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Um of course. You know, when the games are one side, it's more hard to comment more difficult so, to comment. I bet it's so hard. Right? So what do you talk about for what do you say after 13, 14 goals? 13, 14 goals? I start, you run out of things to say, right? I, I start going, and here's the score. No, that's not a typo. At yeah. ito yung mga goal scores. Yeah. We, go, we go one by one, man. Yeah. Like, I did a game where Kaya scored a lot. I go, Martini Ray scored the first. Mm -hmm. Doc Young Lee. Did I do a Stallion game where you guys won? On a big margin? I can't really. Possibly. I might have done the the game. The games where the, the score lines were closer. But what happens, mm -hmm. I just ran through the scorers, man. And then I go, oh, here to make it 5-0, mm -hmm. this guy scored. And that eventually became this person's personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person's brace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thankfully, I have some experience, man. <laughs> yeah, already. Uh, nice, yeah. nice. Good answer. Go Good figure, answer. man. Anything else? Or uh, We'll do mm. the fight. The, this is pretty much beginning to end. We're just... Man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not at the moment. No, I think oh. yeah. that's what I was most curious about. Like, Favorite place to eat man, in in Alabang. Favorite, I'm asking because this is my hangout area also, right? Favorite place to eat with my high school friends. Close in friends. <clears throat> Excuse uh, me. I have a favorite place to eat, but it's uh, it's secret to me. Ooh. And like, well, it's not that secret. It's the one in the vlog. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's where. So we go eat there a lot it's very hidden that's why so it's like kind of like cool it. it's kind of uh secret it's like in the in a parking lot um honestly i don't even know the name so i couldn't i couldn't tell you um uh, we have a name for it we call it um we call it fph because right next to it there used to be a place called food porn hub um okay. and so like we 
say oh fph just like the you know abbreviation yeah and but it's right next to it but the actual name of it i don't know you the don't actual know. i Actually, we uh, had it like this in it's high like school. It's something like, gosh, I don't know. But yeah, Go great man. place. Um, Where is it? Like Madrigal in, Business Park? Yeah, yeah, yeah off Zapote Road. Um, okay. Kind of like hidden in a parking lot. But you got to go inside Madrigal. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Um, so it's that one. And then I'd say the other favorite that I go to a lot. Give against, man. Give against. Give against. Who's the last guy I interviewed from Stallion? I mean, mm. you no, know, it wasn't Matt. I think we got Patrick Dato. You didn't reach oh, him nice. in style. Yet, no, right? no, I go, no. your favorite restaurant. He goes, Gilligan's. Gilligan's. And I go, yeah. good answer. He was just bursting out laughing. Of Gilligan's. I mean, I'm wearing, I'm wearing the shirt. So, CC gear is fire. Oh, great CC. That's yeah. my go to. Yeah. Yeah. The, what about you? Favorite spot? Favorite spot. You know, I will say we do a how old our office meetings in Gilligan's. Uh-huh. It's near. Nice, nice. Yeah, we take our people there. Mm-hmm. And then I was joking, there's uh, Mr. Alkiros and then his son, Nico's my classmate. They had C.C. Grice uh, before. Yeah. I did C.C. Grice with C.C. <laughs> and then I told Tito Filber, I finally did it. He goes, Musta said, needs beer. I didn't order beer that time. I, went, I got takeout. Eh. Uh, I got takeout that time. Uh, but I think they took out the C.C. Grice already. Uh, Unfortunate, yeah, yeah. unfortunately, but it's the, good that I tried the other days the garlic garlic chicken. chicken. Oh, so oh good. that's good. So that's good. good. Yeah, yeah, our cameraman approves of that. Uh, <laughs> that's what we eat also. <laughs> best, best. The kare kare, vegetable kare kare. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. actually one of my favorite foods. Also, kare kare. yeah, nice. So, Gilligan's maybe like kare kare. Oh, actually, it's the best. Yeah. It's the best. Anyway, you did your sponsor obligations, right? Yeah. What's yeah, your yeah. choice there? Alabang Molito, you choose a place. I, I can give mine. In Molito? To help you out. Um, I, just to. Sure. What's your favorite place there? Shake Shack and then um, Yushoken. Yushoken. Uh, yeah. Where I go a lot actually is uh, Marugame. Where I go almost every day is uh, Group and Boiler Coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You. You cook at home or you go? I do, I do. Okay. Um, or or I'll go to either I cook, I go to Gilligan's, or there's a Kurinderia where I'll get food in Binyan. I think I saw I, yeah. I might have eaten there actually with the oh, nice. with the with nice. the crew yeah, after, yeah, yeah. Like yeah good the spot, Paris. Good spot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we wanna give you the the floor. We're gonna end it ready or you still have anything to ask? My bad. My bad. Uh no, <clears> I mean not much to add, we you know. Obviously, I'm, I'm glad we got to do this. And yeah, likewise, I appreciate, man. you know, you always make us look good. So it's, you know, we appreciate you and everything, <laughs> everything you're doing for us. Because, you know, we just we just play. But you guys are the ones behind the scenes really doing doing all the heavy lifting, you know. So, yeah, I'm, you know, always happy to be on here and help out. Yeah, a big thank you, of course, mm-hmm. on behalf of mm-hmm. the entire broadcast panel. We're working hard at the same time. Happy to say we're also having fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm do, glad. So. I'm glad. Because, yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it makes us look so much better you know like having you guys there and you guys are taking your job so seriously so we you know we all appreciate that you too. you see how we're so hyped up <laughs> wearing the jackets yeah and stuff. no you guys look good the jackets are cool looking fly jackets are cool yeah yeah not mm-hmm. sure where i left my jacket oh, maybe in the other car <laughs> yeah. but your fan club arrived here man right here the nearest household <laughs> we there's the likes of who's here let's acknowledge him mags is here spready's here gabe's here Tell them to come Matt's here. Matt's not part of your fan club. You guys want to say hi to the podcast? The camera's facing here. Yeah. Come here, come here. Before we give you the floor to s- greet, of course, your family, friends, and supporters. More importantly, or importantly also, mm-hmm. Stallion supporters. Yeah. You guys want to drop by? Say hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matt, yeah, Matt wants to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the new Stallion goalkeeper, Matt. No? Oh, we were just talking <laughs> about you. No, it's Freddy, man. Freddy. <laughs> anyway. Come on, Freddy. Yeah, my team is really shy, unfortunately. Yeah, it's cool. You know. Anyway, yeah, I want to give you the floor, of course. This opportunity. Oh, man. Um, thank you to everyone watching this. Thank you to the to the Who the Heck Are We podcast mm-hmm. nation and supporters. Um, appreciate you watching. And, you know, it's things like this that I think are are good for you know football here in the Philippines and sports in general because I know it's not just football. But yeah, thanks a lot again, Sea Dog, for mm-hmm. your time. This is an episode I wanted to do for some time. I talked to you. Mm-hmm. I mentioned it 
Mine's back. And then I think since the first time I met you, you've been talking about it. Yeah. And then so, podcast stopped for a while. Yeah. Of course, I think you busy work uh, in a good way. Because mm-hmm. uh, back to commentating in UAP just came. Yeah. 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 Nice. And then I don't know how I'm doing it now, but I'm going to mm-hmm. upload this, of course. But yeah, thanks again for your time. Awesome. awesome. Thanks for sharing your stories. Yeah. yeah. There you sure. go, guys. Carmen Zano here alongside Christian C. Dog Schaffner, or it's Christian Schaffner. There you go. Yep. And we'll sign off from this episode of Who the Heck Are We? Bye, guys. Bye.